Hey, if it like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of the Black Pearl. Okay, so this is a full tank shot for James McDonald, one of my subscribers. He wanted to see what the the tank looked like with the new auto top off box in and that. So this is what it looks like, fella. Yeah, it's quite tidy. I am really happy with it. And uh, I think, like somebody said, it just looks like part of the tank, even a cane. But it's um, separate. So yep, yeah, really pleased with that. Okay, so as you've seen on a previous video, uh, the quarantine tank started. Um, I'm basically have to call the rock out. I've stuck it on this table, and it's just going to stay here and bake in the sunshine. Just using the sun to dry the rock off, make sure it kills everything, and. When the rock goes into the black pearl, like this little bugger here, bristle worm, make sure there's none of that crap going into it. So all the rock will be dead. So I'll be keeping it out here for a, about three to four weeks. Okay, it's been about four weeks now, and uh, this is some of the rock that I had out. It's been baking in the sun and it's completely dried up and completely dead. So I'm going to start aquascaping with this now. For the aquascaping, I'll be using the... This, this is basically this all the stuff I'll be using. I'll be using some of this uh, acrylic rod. Just because I plan on making uh, maybe two or three islands. Uh, I'll use this screwdriver. i use this to chisel away stuff. I'll use this little screwdriver here basically to put prick marks into the putty just to make it look like a sponge. Uh, what else? Uh, also I use this saw if I want to like cut away some of the rock. Um, it's pretty good for that. Um, hammer and stuff. And I'll be using this EPO putty. Uh, it's quite good. I, I quite like the EPO putty. Especially if you're working it out of water. And a drill. Uh, <laughs> pretty much a a must have when you want to do some really cool aquascaping yeah, you got to have a drill right then I've actually made a start this is the first of the islands I've um, been working on just uh, patting uh, some stuff up just now and taking this little screwdriver just making little prick marks all over the putty um, pretty much every single bit of puttying that I do, I do this. Um, you don't have to do it, I just like to do it because I just think until like the coral line takes over and your corals and I cover it, um, if it is noticeable, it's, it's not such an eyesore. It just kind of looks like a sponge or something growing on your rocks as opposed to just heaps of putty all over the place and it just kind of looks crap. Um, so it's just that wee kind of nice finishing detail I quite like to do. Um, and I also putty, pretty much putty all my rocks because I just don't think it's worth the risk um, from a turbo snail or something knocking your rock over and scratching your tank. It's just not worth it. So all my rocks will be puttied but main reason for putting them is because I'm wanting a pretty cool aquascape and you can't really do it without and this is what it kind of looks like once you've marked it all with the screwdriver so it looks like a sponge, it's pretty cool and this is my first island basically going for three islands maybe th aye, two or three islands anyway basically just wanting it to be sort of like uh, the black shit, the black pearl in the movie when it's sailing and you can see the islands um, so I'm kind of going for that kind of that inspiration sort of thing so I'm trying to get the, the bonsai kind of tree look here um, it's not bad, I quite like it um, I think it's pretty cool lots of overhangs and I think once this is covered in SPS corals it's going to look pretty damn sweet like so yep I'm really happy with this so that's the first island out of the way. I'm 
Okay, so I've got more rock now. And then basically I've just smushed a load of it up and I've made a start on the the next second island. Basically just got my acrylic rod in place, putted that in and started constructing the base. And it's pretty solid. Still with plenty of flow in little caves and stuff. Okay, so same thing as before, I've putted on a few bits. And I'm out with my, my trusted little screwdriver making little holes. <laughs> making little sponges. You gotta love your sponges. I mean, can you imagine how deep the ocean would be if it didn't have so many sponges in it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to this. So I'm just going around all these bits that I've putted on and just trying to make them look a wee bit more sponge-like. Plus I think because they're rougher, um, as opposed to smooth, the Coraline algae kind of covers it quicker. Um, but other than that, I quite like, quite like the way it looks once you've um, made all these holes and stuff in it. Textured it a bit. Um, just a wee little detail I quite like to add to it. The sepal putty is, is really good stuff. Um, it's it's a pleasure to work with when you're when you're not in the tank, but I don't really think it's that great under the water sort of thing. Okay, so here we go. This is the finished article. This is island number two. Really happy with this one as well. Uh, lots of places from SPS to go, and uh, I really like this. Still a couple of bits I've not actually putted in place yet. They're kind of just sitting there, but I'll get them putted up in a minute. And the acrylic rod is still popping out the top, so I'll have to cut that off. You can see it there. I'll just cut that off. Um, but, yep, that's pretty much the way I'm wanting it. So those uh, little flat top plate areas, I'm going to get them putted down. Get that acrylic acrylic rod cut and it should look pretty sweet. That couple of bits of uh, live rock on the top there um, that still needs to be baked in the sun for a while longer. Okay so that's everything putted in place now and uh, that's Island 2 finished and I've cut the acrylic rod off so you can't see that anymore. Like I say I'll take that couple of bits of rock at the top off and uh, I'll have that out in the garden baking in the sun for the next three to four weeks and also make sure it's completely dried out and completely dead so when it goes in there's uh, going to be no pests on it at all but uh, overall, yep, yeah, really pleased with that it's turned out pretty good I quite like, I, I, I love aquascaping um, especially like this because you can just let your mind go wild and the only limitation is your imagination really so here's the two islands together I'm not going to have them together like this in the, the display tank like um, I'm going to have a wee bit of separation because I want to have lots and lots of room for the fish and stuff uh, but uh, yep not sure how I'm going to arrange it in, the, in the, the display tank like but I think I'll maybe do another island but maybe just a couple small islands not as big as this and I'm wanting to leave plenty of room for corals to actually grow up to the light. Okay, so that's my aquascaping for just now. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.